Good morning. Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Tony Torrance. We're going to do a little um, pre-tying prep here on our marabou. Um, been a lot of flies on, this, on the blog lately talking about uh, the use of marabou and we know it's a, a great material for catching steelhead and trout. What I'm first going to do is I've got a package of blood quills here from uh, Hairline. This happens to be bright purple. I'm going to take these and uh, just cut away the threaded portion of the stems. And that gets all my marabou laying out and ready to go. And then what I typically do with each of these uh, pieces of marabou is slide my finger down to the base, pull the material down, and just strip. And I'll go through and do a bunch of these, at a, or the whole package at a time, and then sort them as I'm going through. And you'll find some feathers that are great and some that aren't so great. That's just the way marabou is. No, a lake fisherman isn't going to want to use that lower end of that at all. I mean, for buggers or I, I don't, and I'll and I'll tell you why. I mean, here is a classic um, feather that is great for tying spay flies and some of these tube flies that we're using for steelhead. And typically, and there's two th schools of thought on that: is you can take this feather and tie in the tip or the base, but the portion you're going to use is up in here. And if you're going to tie a sparser fly, you're going to strip more away. And what you're looking for is these finer tips here that don't have all the um, barbules coming off of the stem that makes the fluff. Okay. And I'll, uh, there's another. Let me find another one in here that's even uh, better in that regard. This one here is. I'll take and pull down, and I've got my fingers just up at the tip here. And I'll strip away. You just grab and pull. And then look how sparse and fine that is. So if you're tying traditional spay flies or you're tying some of these tube flies and you want to see the other colors through, um, use these finer um, fibered materials. Now, on the other end of the spectrum is you'll go through here and you'll find feathers that have a very, usually they have a very thick stem. And of course, I'm having trouble finding one. And they're real fluffy at the tip. Here's one here. It's a little fluffier. That's going to be your typical um, woolly bugger material. And when you look at this, I mean, you've tied enough flies that you're going to know you want to use that for tailing material. And if the fluffier, the better, of course. Um, hence the reason uh, Hairline has a bugger boo. But when you're sorting through your marabou, you know, you're going to save time and you'll know what you have for material if you just take your pack open, cut it, prep it.